significance of the D4 design exercise to the students is that this is their first real opportunity to work together as a team on a, on a big task, a big problem for which they um, don't have much time to prepare and for which they don't really know the solution. So every year we set a different challenge. This year the challenge that we set for the students was for them to build a live audio performance system. Uh, such as a, a one-man band where moving your arms and legs would, would cause different musical instrument sounds to be played uh, or a DJ system for example. Our design is quite complicated. It involves manipulating the sound output in addition to producing music. We're really using sensors such as accelerometers and gyroscopes to not only um, change how sound is manipulated but produce a sort of ultrasonic sound experience as you're playing with the game. Brings a tear to my eyes. <laughs> so our project was kind of, we had the idea of using some sort of camera or vision system to start with. And then we thought, why not instead of make a piano, actually be able to grip on out. So then we kind of printed out the keyboard and then played with the idea of using a webcam to look at the keyboard and identify where you're pressing it. So then we kind of expanded from that idea and then you can record what you're playing, playback, and then even play on top of audio files and things like that. Okay, it's half past four, it's time's up. So we've got half an hour now, and that half an hour is to be used for three things. Getting things signed off, packing up, and going home, okay? We're not doing any more construction, that's it now. What you've got now is what we're going to sign off. You got a question? What is home? Pardon? What is home? <laughs> it's a place that you may not remember, but it's waiting for you. I don't remember. So there's various different skills that we're looking for the students to demonstrate in this exercise. Um, chief amongst these is probably their ability to think on their feet, uh, to adapt to changing situations, um, but also to apply the technical skills that they've developed throughout their um, programme so far and to work together as a team. We met with Remetzer today. I was very pleased this year with the um, way that the students conducted themselves throughout this exercise. Uh, they all took on a very professional attitude, uh, they all worked very hard and they all achieved really great things. Our default project was the Project Blow. And the first question anyone asked me once I revealed my title is that why would anyone do a project related anyway to blowing? Good question. The thing is that uh, even we don't want to do it either. Next song. We're good. The previous song. So this is more like an MP3 device, a real life MP3 device, where you just have to incorporate with the device just by. That's all what you got to do. Why don't we start with um, demonstrations? So can we go in? Put it Salesman Award. Okay, so this award 
is the person who can sell anything to anyone. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I am a past recipient. <laughs> there was one presentation today which left us quite literally blown away. <laughs> so the winning team this year was one that demonstrated um, a good balance between hardware and software in their construction. It was a team where every member of the team uh, worked together and contributed a different component to the system and it was thanks to this that they were able to build um, a system which had a lot of different working components that worked well together. So the overall <laughs> award goes to Team F. So I would say a D4 project from University of Southampton is one of the greatest projects which you can undergo as an electronic student in this university. 